So we think we know what anxiety looks like. So they might be body tension, they might be a blank facial expression, they might have a lack of coping strategies so that they, you know, they flip with a very small uh, upset. Uh, they might avoid things. Maybe they can't analyze or explain the source of anxiety. Maybe they have a feeling of general helplessness, but they might not exhibit any outward signs. I'm very lucky because I have a therapy dog who is absolutely brilliant at showing me when a child is anxious. And he is quite amazing. So I will know by his reaction to them, even before they've said anything, or before I've asked them anything, I will know how anxious they are. I can pitch how anxious they are by what he is doing. Um, and he also picks it up when they get maybe some anxiety back. So not just the ones with selective mutism, but um, I had a little girl the other day with DLD. And when she, he, he fixed her, he sorted her out, he then went and sat in his beanbag. The second I asked her something that she perceived as harder, he got back up off his beanbag and he knew he need, she needed sorting out again. I couldn't see that. Her mum couldn't see that. She looked exactly the same to us, but the Labrador picks it up. And many, many children won't actively look anxious.